Diversity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. After several months of fierce competition, the end is now in sight. Last time we saw Peterhouse Cambridge take the first place in the final of this year's competition and whichever team wins tonight will join them. The four from Liverpool University have won every match they've played. They saw off St Peter's College Oxford in round one and Southampton University in round two and the two quarter-final victories they needed were at the expense of Newcastle University and Imperial College London. With an average age of 20, let's meet the Liverpool team for the fifth time. Hi, I'm Jenny McLaughlin. I'm from Leeds and I'm studying Biological and Medical Sciences. Hi, I'm Jack Bennett. I'm from Lancaster and I'm studying Law. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Robin Wainwright. I'm from the Wirral and I'm studying Biological Sciences. Hi, I'm Ed Bretherton. I'm from Bampton in Devon and I'm studying Medicine. The team from St John's College, Oxford, have arrived here having beaten Bristol University in round one, Queen's University Belfast in round two, and St Catherine's College, Cambridge, in their first quarter-final. They lost their next match to Peterhouse, Cambridge, though, but dodged the bullet by sending home Newcastle University on the last occasion we met them. Their average age is 19. So let's refresh our memories and say hello to them again. Hi, my name is Alex Harries. I come from South Wales, and I'm reading history. Hello, my name is Charlie Clegg, I'm from Glasgow, and I'm reading Theology. And this is their captain. Hi, my name is Angus Russell, I'm from Mill Hill in North London, and I study history and Russian. Hi, I'm Dan Soad, I'm from Oxbridge in Middlesex, and I'm reading Chemistry. <laughs> Time's too precious to spend it reciting the rules. Fingers on the buzzers, please. Which future UK Prime Minister was news editor of the Church Times from 1948? Uh, John's Russell. Uh, Ted Heath. Correct. <laughs> Your first bonuses are on achievements at the age of 25, St John's. Firstly, for five, born 1685. Which philosopher's major work, a treatise concerning the principles of human knowledge, appeared in 1710? He later became Bishop of Cloyne in County Cork. In Berkeley. Yeah. Barclay? Correct. In 1872, the 25-year-old C.P. Scott became the editor of a newspaper known at that time by what name? He oversaw its development as a supporter of many progressive causes. The Manchester Guardian. Correct. What was the name of the aeroplane piloted by the 25-year-old Charles Lindbergh in the first non-stop solo transatlantic flight in 1927? Spirit of St. Louis. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Which African country's coat of arms includes a camel surrounded by laurel branches with the country's name in English, Arabic and Tigrinya? The camel is said to symbolise the country's movement to independence, which was achieved in 1993. St John's Harry's. Mauritania? No, anyone else? Paul Bennett. Bennett. Eritrea. Eritrea is correct, yes. Right, your bonus is the first set for you, Liverpool, are on the official nicknames of US states. In each case, listen to the description and give both the nickname and the state to which it applies. Firstly, a precious metal appearing in the periodic table above gold and between palladium and cadmium. That's silver. Silver. Mm. Silver in Wyoming. No, it's the Silver State, which is the nickname for Nevada. Secondly, an enclosed structure created as a home for some species of the subgenus Apis. Beehive State in Utah. Correct. Poa pretensis, a perennial plant species with distinctively coloured flower heads. No idea. That's the bluegrass state of Kentucky. Ten points for this. Give three answers as soon as your name is called. Which three elements have the German names Wasserstoff, Sauerstoff and Stickstoff, meaning water substance, acid substance and smothering substance, respectively? St John's Russell. Hydrogen, oxygen and carbon. Anyone like to buzz from Liverpool? <laughs> Liverpool Wainwright. Hydrogen, oxygen and phosphorus. No, it's hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. So, ten points for this. Compared by one commentator to depictions of Christ being led to the cross by Roman soldiers, a photograph taken in 1974 by Ian Bradshaw 
showed the aftermath of the Australian spectator Michael O'Brien having become the first person to perform what act ah. at a major... St John's Clegg. Uh, a heart transplant. No, at a major sport... You lose five points. At a major sporting event. If Paul McLaughlin. Streaking. Correct. Right, a bonus set of bonuses for you this time, Liverpool, on a Greek-derived word. From Greek words meaning all and assembly, what term describes a public speech or published text in praise of a person or thing? No, we don't know. It's a panegyric. If you want to raise a certain cheer in the House of Commons, you make a general panegyric on economy. If you want to invite a sure defeat, propose a particular saving. These words appear in the English Constitution, an 1867 work by which author? Budget. 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 Walter Budget is correct. A full translation could only be an ideological translation whereby Jefferson's words would be changed into a panegyric on absolute government. These words appear in an appendix to which mid-20th century novel? It is talking about news speak. Right, ten points for this. Which decade saw the discovery of Uranus by William Hirsch? Liverpool Bennett. 1780s. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on classical mechanics, Liverpool. An object starts at rest and accelerates at a constant 5 metres per second squared for 10 seconds. What distance in metres does it travel? Five metres per second for 10 seconds. 50 metres. No, it travels 250 metres. Oh. A second object has an initial velocity of 3 metres per second and accelerates at a constant 2 metres per second squared. How many metres does this object travel in 10 seconds? Forty-three. No, it's 130. <laughs> what in metres per second is the velocity of this second object after 10 seconds? No, it's not going to be that. Um, 50. No, it's 23 metres per second. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a map of the eastern Mediterranean with the location of a city of the classical world highlighted. Ten points if you can identify it. St John's Harry. Sparta? No. Liverpool Bennett. Megara? No, it's Corinth. So, picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points at stake for this starter question. Oxbridge. Cosplay and Labradoodle are examples of... Ah, St John's Harry. Portmanteaus. Portmanteau words, that's correct, yes. <laughs> You'll recall that we saw the position of Corinth depicted in the picture starter. Uh, the early Christian communities of Corinth were the eponymous addressees of two of the New Testament books of Pauline epistles. For your bonuses, three more cities of the early Christian world to whose church communities the epistles of St Paul were addressed. Five points for each. I want the name of the city or the adjective derived from it by which their respective books of epistles are known. Firstly... It would be Ephesus. It's mm. Ephesians, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Ephesus. Correct. Secondly... Hmm. So, is, is, is Galatia... Galatia is that where Troy is? No, 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 no it's going to be Galatians, it? Corinthian... We've got Corinthians, Corinthians it's it's Thessalonians. Thessalonians, it's but Thessalonians in Greece. So it's going to be Galatia, Galatia then. Galatia, Galatia, Galatia. Unless it's Colossus, but I think that's... Yeah, I think that's Galatia. Galatia? No, it's Colossae, uh, the Epistle to the Colossians. And finally... Yes, Thessalonians. So, Thessalonians. Oh, correct, Thessaloniki yeah. is correct. Yeah. Right, ten points for this. Which British economist gives his name to the equivalents discussed in his 1820 essay on the funding system, which suggests that the method of financing government spending... Never Paul Bennett. Adam Smith. No, you lose five points. The method of financing government spending may make no difference to consumer demand. St John's Clay. Uh, Malthus? No, it's David Ricardo. Ten points for this. In 1958, 
The work of Dr. Rune Elmqvist and the surgeon Orca Senning led to the 43-year-old Swede, Arne Larsson, becoming the first person to be implanted with what device? Liverpool Wainwright. A pacemaker? A pacemaker is right. <laughs> Your bonuses, Liverpool, are on English naturalists and sheep. All three breeds are named after English counties. Described as having an intelligent, bright eye, which breed of sheep originated on downland in the county that is the setting of Gilbert White's 1789 work, The Natural History and Antiquities of Selborne? Somerset. Miss Hampshire. Which black-faced breed of sheep originated from the mating of Norfolk horn ewes with Southdown rams? William Kirby, the author of the 1802 work, a monograph on the bees of England, was born in the same county. Dorset. No, it's Suffolk. Active and alert with a soft black face. These words describe a hornless breed of sheep named after which English county, the birthplace of Charles Darwin? Shropshire. Correct. Ten points for this. Iurus <laughs> fulgens, meaning shining cat, is the scientific... Liverpool Wainwright. Red Panda. Red Panda is right. Right, these bonuses, Liverpool, are on trade in the ancient world, often identified with China. The home of the people known as the Cires was seen in ancient Rome as the original home of what commodity? Silk. Correct. India, Ceres and the Arabian Peninsula take from our empire 100 millions of sesterces every year. That is how much our luxuries and women cost us. Which Roman author wrote this in his natural history? He died during the eruption of Vesuvius in AD 79. Pliny the Elder. Correct. At the time of Pliny the Elder, which imperial dynasty ruled China? <laughs> Han. Han is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Writing in AD 350, the Roman poet Orsonius provided the earliest known reference to wine production in which French region, now the largest producer of AOC wine in the country? St John's Harris. Bordeaux. Bordeaux is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on astronomy, St John's. The local group of galaxies is dominated by three spiral galaxies. These are the Triangulum, the Milky Way, and which galaxy, also known as M31? Andromeda. Andromeda. Yeah. Andromeda. Correct. Which constellation of the Zodiac gives its name to the supercluster of galaxies which contains the local group? I think that might be Taurus, because I think we're in Taurus as well. Okay. So I think it might be Taurus. Taurus? No, it's Virgo. M87 is a giant radio galaxy in the Virgo cluster that belongs to a broad morphological class of galaxies denoted by what single letter? Generally poor and young blue stars, they may be oblate or triaxial in shape. Okay. Yeah, well, just, just yeah, spiral galaxies. Yeah. No, it's a letter. Oh, it is a letter. So yes. it, might, it might just be... I, I, I call something like that name galaxy. Mm, OK. Yeah. M. No, it's E for elliptical. Right, we're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you'll hear an excerpt from a suite of classical music that's been used as the basis for a ballet. For ten points, I want both the name of the composer and the title of the suite. St John's Clare. Dilip Carmen. No, you can hear a little more, Liverpool. You may not confer. Liverpool Bennett. Sabertans catch to you. No, it's Rimsky Korsakov. It's part of Scheherazade. Ten points for this starter question. Music bonuses shortly. Spell the two four-letter near homophones that mean, respectively, a person in a condition of servitude or modified slavery and the mass or line... Liverpool Bennett. S-E-R-F, S-U-R-F. Correct. 
So we'll pick up the music bonuses with you. Scheherazade, which you heard a moment ago, was one of the ballets born from the creative relationship between the choreographer Michel Fokin and the dancer Václav Nijinsky, while both were at the Ballet Russe. Your bonuses are three more works that Fokin turned into ballets in which Nijinsky danced leading roles. I want the composer of each, please. Firstly, for five, this Russian composer. Rachmaninoff. No, it's Stravinsky, that's from Petrushka. Secondly, this German composer. Schubert. No, that's Weber, the Spectre of the Rose. And finally, this French composer. Delibes. No, that's Ravel. It's from Daphnis and Chloe. <laughs> Ten points for this. Listen carefully. What physical quantity is the result of multiplying half of a rotating object's moment of inertia by its angular velocity squared? St John's so word. Rotation or kinetic energy? Kinetic energy, I'll accept. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> Good, well done. Your bonuses are on Britain in the 19th century. In each case, listen to the series of events and name any one of the three consecutive years that they span. Mm. Firstly, the Rainhill locomotive trials and the subsequent opening of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, the death of King George IV and the start of Charles Darwin's voyage on HMS Beagle. 1829, 1830, uh, 1831. So just 1830? 1830, 1831, or 1829 in those cases. Well done. The drafting of the People's Charter, secondly, the founding of the Permanent Anti-Corn Law League and the introduction of the Uniform Penny Post. Um, 1840, I, I think, is one of those. It, because... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought 1841 was one, but okay, 1840, yeah, okay. yeah. 1840? That's correct. That was when the Penny Post came in. And finally, the establishment successively of Notts County Football Club, the English Football Association and Yorkshire County Cricket Club and the first publication of Wisden Cricketer's Almanac. I've, I've got some language that 1868 is a date for the FA. OK. OK. 1868? No, you're too late there. It's 1862, 1863 and 1864. Ten points for this. Asia's second predominantly Roman Catholic country after the Philippines... St John's Clerk. East Timor. Correct. Your bonuses are on the 2004 book In Europe by the Dutch journalist Geert Mack. In each case, identify the city from the words taken from his description of it. What strikes one about the city centre is the absence of Spain. The city is French, Italian, Mediterranean and, above all, itself, Barcelona. the Spanish nation. There will be none of that here, thank you. Barcelona? Correct. It was in this forest of churches and cranes that it all started the tiny fissures that ultimately brought about the earthquake of 1989. Oh, it's probably Prague. Budapest, Budapest or Prague? Uh, Prague, where... Prague's got more churches, I guess. Yeah. Prague? Prague? No, it's Gdańsk uh, in oh. the north of Poland. How in the world could this friendly city, this uncommonly pleasant town, this centre of the arts and good cheer, have been the birthplace of such a fanatical and destructive movement? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Munich. Munich is right. That gives you the lead. <laughs> Ten points for this. Listen carefully. The large Zenith telescope in Vancouver, Canada, can only point directly upwards owing to the nature of its rotating mirror, which has a reflective surface made of which element? St John Sowood. Germanium. No, anyone like to bust in Liverpool? <laughs> Liverpool Brotherton. Silicon. No, it's Mercury. Ten points for this. Which large anchorage is bounded by islands including South Ronaldsay, Hoy and Mainland? Liverpool Bennett. Sky. No, you lose five points. It was a major naval base during both world wars and saw the scuttling of the German fleet in 1919. St John's Clerk. Scapa Flow. Scapa Flow is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on a work of speculative fiction, St John's. Who was the author of the 1961 work Stranger in a Strange Land, which tells of a human raised on Mars and his interactions with terrestrial culture? It could be Philip K. Dick. You yes. of... Nominate Clegg? Uh, Philip K. Dick. No, it wasn't. It was Robert A. Heinlein. 
Secondly, caught in by Heinlein in Stranger in a Strange Land, which four-letter verb is defined in the OED as to understand intuitively or by empathy, to establish rapport with? Feel. 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 Mm -hmm. I feel it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel? That's grok. <laughs> the words stranger in a strange land appear in which book of the Old Testament, referring to Moses after he fled from Egypt? Probably Exodus. Probably Exodus. Exodus. Exodus? Correct. We're going to take a picture around now. If your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of a building. For ten points, I want you to tell me the architect who designed it. The building is now a museum dedicated to his life and work. Uh, St John's Clerk. Uh, Sir John Soon. Sir John Soane is right, yes? That's 13 Lincoln's Inn Fields. It was also Soane's own home. Your picture bonuses are three more photographs of notable architects' own houses. In each case, I want you to identify the architect who designed and lived in the house you see. Firstly, the architect of this house, which was built in the 1930s. Um, Frank, who are Mish van der Goldfinger. Uh, yeah. Used to really, really like yeah, everyone hated gold. him. Goldfinger. Uh, 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 yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah. The one yeah, Goldfinger is yeah, based yeah. on. Yeah. Should we try? What's his name? It's, it's not Arnold Goldfinger. It's, 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 it's called Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Yeah, okay, yeah. Goldfinger? No, it's Walter Gropius's house in Massachusetts. Secondly, the architect of this house, which was built in the 1950s. Oh, I recognise that. It's the use of the Bond movie. Um, <laughs> it might be Mies van der Rohe. Van der Rohe? Van der Rohe? No, it's Oscar Niemeyer uh, in Rio de Janeiro. And yeah. finally, the architect of this house, which was begun in the 1930s. So I, I'd say that looks like Frank Lloyd Wright, because it looks like... Can we try that? Yeah. Frank Lloyd Wright? It is in Arizona. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. The Marprelate tract describing bishops as profane, proud, paltry, popish, pestilent and pernicious were clandestine publications during the reign of which monarch? St John's Clerk. Um, Edward VI. Nope. Liverpool Wainwright. Mary I. No, it was Elizabeth I. Ten points for this. Augustus Snodgrass, George Nupkins, Samuel Slumkey and Dr Slammer are among characters in which novel first published in serial form from 1836? Uh, St John's Clerk. At the Pickwick Papers. Correct. Your bonuses are on a philosopher, St John's. In the 1923 essay, Love and Knowledge, which German phenomenologist introduced the idea that love forms a bridge from poorer to richer knowledge? I think Husserl's a phenomenologist. Um, can you nominate you? The philosopher from that time is not Heidegger, so... Yeah. Yes, can I nominate you? Yeah. Nominate Clegg? Uh, Husserl? No, it was Shaler. Yeah. Secondly, Shaler took as his starting point the idea that there is a specific logic to human emotions which is different from the logic of the intellect, a concept he took from which 17th century French philosopher? Descartes. Descartes. Yeah. That kind of plays into mind-body sort of... Yeah. 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 Descartes? No, it's Pascal. Oh. In the early 1950s, which Polish philosopher and future Archbishop of Krakow wrote a PhD thesis on Scheler, acknowledging his influence on Roman Catholicism. John Paul II. John Paul II? It was, yes, Carol Wojciewa. <laughs> Ten points for the starter question. Which country is divided into seven geographical regions, including those known as the Mediterranean, Aegean, Black Sea... Liverpool Wainwright. Greece. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. And Southeast Anatolia. St John's Harry. Turkey. Turkey is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on calculus. Give the derivative with respect to x of each of the following mathematical functions. x times sine x. Um, that's um, sine x uh, plus um, x cos x. Nominate Howard. Sine x plus x cos x. Correct. Secondly, the hyperbolic cosine function cosh x. Nominate. Nominate so good. Shine x. That's S yes. S I N H. Well done. X. And finally, the natural logarithm of x. Let's nominate so good. Um, 1 over x. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. The work of the Swiss linguist Ferdinand de Saussure laid the foundations of which discipline, defined by him as concerned with the life of signs within society? St John's Harris. Um, semiotics. Semiotics is correct. 
Your bonuses are on countries admitted to the United Nations in 1965. In each case, name the country from the description, St John's. Firstly, a country about half the size of Wales, named after a river that rises in the Futa Jalon Mountains. Its official language is English. Bhutan, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bhutan? Was Bhutan? No, it's the Gambia. Oh, okay. A country consisting of coral atolls whose total area is less than half that of Anglesey. Its official language, Divehi, belongs to the Indo European family. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Or it could be the sea, the, the Maldives. Yeah, Maldives. Correct. An island state close in size to Anglesey. Its official languages are English, Malay, Mandarin, and Tamil. As, oh, no, Sri Lanka, oh, isn't it? Oh, no, no, Singapore, no, Singapore, Singapore. Yeah, Singapore. Yeah. Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. Singapore is correct. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as you buzz. How many metric teaspoons are there in one litre? St John's Clerk. 200. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the human face, St John's. In human anatomy, the mandible forms the lower jaw. Which bone forms the upper jaw? Um, it's just the temporal mandible. No, I was going to say, I think it's just part of the skull. Which mm. I think is well, the I think so. jaw. The cranium, then. Come on, let's have yeah, a cranium. Please. No, it's the maxilla. Mm. The cheekbone or malar bone has what alternative name taken from the Greek for yoke? Um, yoke doesn't appear in the New Testament. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it's, um, it'd be like, you, it would be something like yugus. Yeah. Um, so like, you, you, a jugular. No, it's the no. zygomatic bone. Yeah. Which bone in the facial skeleton forms the roof of the mouth and the floor of the nasal cavity? Uvula, possibly. Uh, that's the top. No, it's the palatine no. bone. Right, ten points for this. Obtained from the tree Heavier Brasiliensis, which commercial product in its natural state consists mainly of isoprene polymers? Liverpool Wainwright. Rubber. I'll accept the yes, latex, yes. 15 points for these bonuses. They're on the locations of Shakespeare's plays. Which play is set in Navarre, Liverpool? Mm -hmm. Quickly. Henry V. Henry V? No, it's Love's Labour's Lost. Settings of which play include Paris, Marseille, Florence and Roussillon? Just mm -hmm. Henry V again. <laughs> Come on. All's well that ends well. Correct. Okay. Finally, which play is set in Ephesus? Dunno. Quickly. It's the comedy of errors. Ten points for this. And that the young Liverpool University have 95, St John's College Oxford have 195. <laughs> you went on song today, Liverpool, were you? It all depends how the questions fall, too, but you've been a great team so far. Congratulations for getting this far. I mean, you could only play one more match, so thank you very much for being with us. And St John's, a terrific performance from you. We should look forward to seeing you in the final. Many congratulations to you. I hope you can join us next time for the final match of this series. But until then, it's goodbye from Liverpool University. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from St John's College, Oxford. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>